Hi, my name is Choi from Zento team. Zento is an application lifecycle management tool which covers the whole process of application development. It implements Scrum completely, which involves Sprint product, as you can see here. And you can just go to biz.demo.zento.pm to visit some dummy data. So this is the dashboard page for you, uh, which includes a remain work and dynamics flowchart, sprint report, and all the related work or maybe related information about you. For this system, you have go to company, which is for human resource in this system to manage users in it. As you can see here, I have created many users in it. You can just click add user or maybe batch add to add users as many as you want. And I need to see is that in this privilege module, you can manage privilege for users uh, by group. Let me just click one to show you. So maybe for this group, product owner, Lindsay, you can manage a privilege for maybe just a single user or maybe a group. Let me just show you manage privileges by group. In the front is the module in Zenta. And as you can see, you can even uncross or maybe cross a single action for this user. If you don't want him to see this action or maybe this button anymore, you can just uncross it and then he will never see it. So let's come back to product. In this module, it should be mainly charged by a PO. After PO has communicated with the customers, he should gather all the user stories or requirement from them. It's actually like a product backlog in Scrum. As you can see here, we got a story list here. And once you have created all the stories, you should go to product plan to create a plan and link all the stories you want to complete in this plan. Here it is for link story. And you can see I have already linked these stories to this plan. And the next step is for Scrum Master or the team. Let's go to Sprint. So for the Scrum Master, he should go to create a sprint. And usually in Scrum, a sprint may be just uh, last maybe one to one or two weeks or even one month and it should not be any longer. You can get all the sprint list here by click the sprint name here to get all the sprints. After you have created this sprint, you should go to sprint product to link the, link the product since you want to get all the story from the product and then you should go to sprint story to link all the stories uh, which you want to complete in this sprint or maybe you can just link stories by plan uh, which uh, which was created just now in that product After you have linked all the stories in this sprint, you could just click batch quit tasks to 
break down all the stories into tasks and assign, assign them to the users. As you can see here, in the front, you could choose story and you could just click copy story to get the exact name of the task from this story, like this. And choose the type, maybe a develop task and assign it to the team member. I forgot to say about the team members, you have to set the team members here in sprint team to manage the team. Choose just choose any user in this system and you could type in his role in it here. And you could also set uh, about his working days and for each day how many working hours he has and click save. So let's go to sprint task. As you can see here, we got a task list here. And we have already assigned to a right person. So once all the tasks have been done, or maybe this sprint has been completed, you should go to, or maybe the scrum master, he should go to sprint, test, build, to create a build. And in this build, big rocket build first, and click save. After you have uh, created this, after you have created this build, you should link stories for all the stories you have uh, created, all the stories you have completed. And you can also see uh, resolved bugs in here if you have uh, resolved any and reported bugs here. So once the build has been created, uh, here comes the test team. Let's go to test module. In test module, it should be charged by the test team, or mostly it might be the same development team. They should write cases once they have got the backlog, or maybe user stories to write all the cases. You could just click add case or maybe batch add and when you create a case you could choose a module and the face and also link the story and maybe the title and you can also do not link the story as well so let's see what if all the cases have been created for the test team, they should submit a request based on the build. As you can see here, I have already created, I have already submitted two requests, and you can see the details about this request: the request name, product, sprint, and the build. Which means uh, a test request. It's based. It is based on a build. And you can link a case here to run this to run the cases in this request. And you can go also get a test report here. In test reports, you can see how all cases in the request run. So let's come back to request again. During running cases in a request, you can directly report bugs and link it with the build which, you, which was created by the development team. So once the test has been done, we can see maybe this sprint has been completed. And generally after several sprints have been completed, the features of the application should be done. And at this timing, uh, the PO 
should go to product release to create a release maybe uh, some features are all completed and this core product can be released to the customer and let them check and give some feedbacks and besides product sprint and test there are also some advanced features like OPS, OA, feedback, CI, doc and report Workflow is a place where you could provision a customized workflow, like multiple level review. This is a multiple level review I have been created in the demo site. So let's go to dashboard again. You can just come to biz.demo.zentalk.pm to check some dummy data. And just let me know if you have any questions by Troy at easycorp.ltd, T R O Y at E A S Y C O R P.ltd. Thanks.